You know, one of the lesser known facts about me is that I'm an expert at relationships. It's not something I like to talk about a lot, but it is what it is. I got a lot of good advice on relationships. Relationships like the length tension relationship, the inverse relationship between intensity and volume, and the relationship that eccentrics play on stimulating mTOR, which is something you might want to know about if you want to build the most amount of muscle through your efforts in the gym. So what the fuck is mTOR? mTOR is the enzyme responsible for protein synthesis. It's also known as the master regulator or master regulatory enzyme for this reason. What happens when you work out is mechanical information is converted into biochemical action through a process called mechanotransduction. As it relates to this relationship, an enzyme is dislodged from the Z lines of your muscles during eccentrics, which hydrolyzes phosphatidylcholine into phosphatidic acid, which we'll call PA. PA then enters the muscle cell, binds to, and activates mTOR, the enzyme responsible for protein synthesis. PA also converts lysophosphatidic acid and attaches to the cell membrane, which increases intracellular PA, activating mTOR, the enzyme responsible for protein synthesis. So how can we practically apply this? At the beginning of every workout, after you warm up, just basically do one to two sets of six to eight reps with 60 to 70 percent of what you know you could lift for one, lowering for six to eight seconds. So basically a weight that you could lift 12 to 20 times, but you're only going to do six to eight reps because you're going to lower it very, very slowly, and the time under tension is going to disable you from performing 12 to 20 reps. But just focus on the slow eccentric because that's when the fucking magic happens. If you like the information, feel free to share it. A lot of people don't understand this. They don't know what the fuck's going on when they train, and they just go into the gym and hope that they'll get the best results for their effort. Hope is not an effective strategy. So share this information. Pass it forward. Um, provide people with the information necessary to maximize their return on investment of time and effort. If you like the information yourself, click the fucking button at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel. I'll keep bringing you the best so that you understand what the fuck you're doing, why you're doing it so you can get the best results for your time and effort in the gym.